Defending champion Marion Bartoli was first on centre court at Eastbourne, taking on Tamira Pasek as the Aegon International reached the semi-final stage. The fourth seed was quickly in control, a mishit return securing a double break and uh, giving her a 4-1 lead. Apologising because obviously she didn't mean the return to be that cute. Pasek playing in her first WTA Tour semi-final did claw one of the breaks back but the world number 59 was unable to prevent Bartoli serving out the opening set. Well, another really tough rally there, so Bartoli wins it in the end. The French woman enjoys the Eastbourne grass, having reached the semi-finals now six years in a row, and the match remained on script as she broke immediately in the second set. She did depth again, and that's an excellent start to this second set. Bartoli went on to establish another 4-1 lead, but an under-pressure Pasek responded brilliantly and levelled at four games all. Well, what a turn-up for the books. At 6-5 to the Austrian, Bartoli's metal was tested, and she was found wanting as Pasek, to her delight, forced a decider. That's a brilliant set of tennis, and she's not done yet this week. Pasek wraps up the second set, seven games to five. In an incredibly strong wind, the pair exchanged early breaks before Bartoli had to be strapped for a thigh pull. And hampered both by her injury and the wind, Bartoli succumbed on her own serve to send Pasek through to her maiden final after a three-hour epic. And she's done. Thank you so much, Ms. Pasek. That's a terrific effort, even though in the end Bartoli was obviously injured. Next to brave the sea breeze for a place in the final were world number 36 Clara Zakopalova and the world's informed player, fourth seed Angelique Kerber. The German has won more matches on the WTA Tour this year than any other player and she was instantly on top against Zakopalova, racing into a four-love lead in no time at all. The 30-year-old Czech was really struggling, and this mishit serve which caught the wind summed up both the difficult weather conditions yes. on centre court and Zakopalova's first set performance. And when you're not playing well, the one player you don't want to be facing at the moment is the confident yeah. Kerber. She showed Zakopalova no mercy and clinched the first set, six love. Zakopalova, the only player to take Maria Sharapova to a third set at Roland Garros, called her coach onto court for a pep talk, and it seemed to lift both her spirits and her game. Her first hold of serve brought a big cheer from the crowd, and she was sticking closer with Kerber in the early stages of the second set. The victory over Ekaterina Makarova in the quarterfinals was Kerber's 39th match win of the season, edging her in front of both Victoria Azarenka and Agnieszka Radwanska. She moved closer to notching win number 40 by breaking Zakopalova in the eighth game, ending a long rally with a sizzling forehand which delighted the centre court crowd. And when Zakopalova netted, Kerber wrapped up a straight set win inside an hour to send her into Saturday's showpiece. It'll be her third final of the year, but the first in her career on grass, a perfect warm-up for Wimbledon.